Last week, we reviewed the California Association of Realtors August numbers statewide and locally. Although July and August were fast months with Sacramento down to a median days on market of nine to 11 days, median home prices actually dropped slightly where you'd really expect them to rise. The real estate home sales and the median home prices were strong as expected, but the home sales in the 600 to say a million has also remained fairly robust. Now you can see on the home sales chart, the sales volume pretty closely follows the inventory level, although home prices have continued on a gradual upward climb. Now the mortgage stats were also notable. First, the single family home, the percentage of cash buyers, conventional loans, and VA loans are all down from July, and FHA loans are up to 22.3%. The number of cash buyers reached a peak in October of 2012 at 40% of the purchases and has steadily declined to 12.4% last month. Conventional loans rose well above the rest at 56% up from a year ago at 50%. FHA loans were up from July but down from 26% in August of 2016. In my eye, these stats are reflecting that the small rise in rates early in the year had very little impact on the market and that it's still more beneficial to use the bank's money to purchase rather than using your own. Now for minding your own business. Do you market to FISBOs? There's a lot of methods of marketing to the for sale by owners and we have one that might work well for you. We call it Six Weeks of Kindness. This program is reaching out to the FISBO in some meaningful way for six straight weeks. Develop material for them such as market analysis for their home, a listing flyer, a how to sell guide, marketing material, etc. Give them what you would for any other listing within reason of course, don't give them the company secret. The idea is to see how helpful, experienced and skillful you are at representing listings so that they're comfortable calling you and understand your worth in the process. In this fast market, you might want to reduce that to three weeks and reach out to them twice per week just for consistency and being able to have higher frequency. Just make sure you don't become a pain and that they avoid your phone calls. Well, that's this edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.